Hello and welcome to my channel everybody, I'm Steph. I wanted to talk to you about a book I recently finished, which is Good Morning Midnight by Lily Brooks Dalton. The story follows two protagonists in what can best be described as pretty remote places. One is of the astronomer Augustine, who is now living in the Arctic all by himself after everybody else had left the station in an emergency evacuation. The other one follows Solly, a female astronaut, in a spaceship on their way back from Jupiter, where they've been taking lunar probes and been doing a lot of research on the moons there. Suddenly, for them, Earth no longer communicates with them. They do not receive any radio, they do not receive any information of what's going on there, and so they're basically floating along in complete isolation from the rest of the world. The story follows the crew of the spaceship as they figure out what's going on with Earth and how to make their way back home without the guidance from Houston. On the other side, it follows Augustine as he is alone or maybe not so alone in his Arctic observatory. There's a lot of beautiful scenery described in there. So for example, seeing the stars and the moons of Jupiter from the spaceship, or on the other hand, in the Arctic, the frozen landscape, the icy ocean. And what strikes me is that these stories really mirror each other. What I really liked about this book, without giving any spoilers, was that it seemed to be telling a parallel story. These were two people who had both struggled with their relationships, who both felt very remote from civilization, and who both chosen to take that step to remove themselves from civilization. There isn't a lot of action in the book as such, given that one person is stuck in the Arctic and the other one can't help but be stuck on a spaceship traveling without any guidance and only having her four, I think it was four crewmates to rely on. So not a lot happens in a sense, but there is a lot that made me think about the internal happenings for the people involved. This kind of questioning of where am I, where am I going? And am I completely lost as this infinite speck of something in this vastness of nothingness? The blurb on Goodreads finishes with the words In crystalline prose, Good Morning Midnight poses the most important questions. What endures at the end of the world? And how do we make sense of our lives? Overall, I really enjoyed this book. It's probably not my general kind of book because it isn't simply a sci-fi story, but rather it also explores the internal journey that the protagonists are going on. And it also seemed a little bit like a parable, like it wasn't quite just telling the outward story that was visible on the page, but rather it was also telling this internal journey. And I'd really recommend this book both to people interested in sci-fi, but also in the kind of deeper questions, in this kind of where do we belong, what makes home home, and as the blurb said, how do we make sense of our lives? That was it for the book review. Let me know if you've read the book and what your thoughts were, or if you have similar books that you'd recommend. See you next week. Bye!